All right, uh, we're gonna do some more D4, so. Uh, quick intro, hey, YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying me playing through this so far. Uh, yeah. It's kind of late at night here, but it's the start of a long weekend. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly do this. And, uh... I mean, there's still more dungeons to do. Hang on, I'm gonna bring up my map. Uh... Okay, we're interested in Scars Glen only. Okay, got my map list. Hello? Hey, man. Hello. Ugh. Just played a lot of Zelda. But... Yeah, I was lurking on and off, messing around with uh, some music and stuff. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, just request invite when you're ready. I'm just gonna have a look at what dungeons are around. What haven't I done? Man, you know what I acknowledged after last night too that I didn't acknowledge? Uh, mm. Not only does my character look like your character on drugs, but we also have T names that are also like both earthy names. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of similar great minds, great minds think alike, right? That's what, yeah. that's what we're gonna call it. Okay, I found. I mean, these aspects probably aren't, won't be useful right now, but later, maybe if I start another character. I'm so glad all this renowned stuff is cross character, because. Yeah, I would not do this for every character. It's, it's a yeah, lot. There's no way. There's no way. I'd rather die. But uh, yeah, I guess the upside of all this is just that it'll make it easier to level up other classes. Because they'll have access yeah. to these uh, aspects. 100%. Turn the game down a little so I can move better. Yeah, I mean, they do give you benefits for it, so, I mean, try it. There's a reason it's there. Yeah, something, like, minorly disappointing I found about Sorcerer, specifically, at least, mm. is that it's not so much that Frost is the only viable option, it's just by far the best option, as far as I've seen, in terms of, like, in-game builds. That's kind of a shame, because, like, Diablo 2 suffered from that. Um, yeah, and I kind of hate that, extent. because it just makes me feel like I can't, like if I want to do really well, I have no, I'm forced down a path, you know? It's the fact that cold freezes, I think, is the problem, the ultimate problem. Because um, fire, it's like, it, it does, I'm sure, like an AoE or maybe... A dot effect, but it's it's just not the same versatility as having something be able to get frozen. Yeah, well, and of course the the result is every single high level sorcerer I see, pretty much ninety percent of the time is frost. Yeah, which is just sad to me. I mean, I'm sure over time they'll add stuff to buff. Uh... The others. I, I've been trying. So the one I'm running is like lightning, and then using 
um, summons effectively. So like I'm running Hydra, the Ice Blades, and the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a Chain Lightning ability that's a summon technically. Yeah. So one of my abilities, my ultimate is every time I drop the ultimate, any lightning spell I cast has a chance to summon another one. And then there's passives that, um, that kind of buff that. So that's what I'm running. And it's, it's oh, fun. Yeah. That's it's just, cool. yeah, it's fun. I'm just not sure if it's going to be viable later, but for now, for the playthrough, it's a lot of fun. Are you in the dungeon? Yeah, yeah. I was about okay. to say that as well. Yeah, it's not, it's not so much that you can't do whatever you want. You totally can. It's just that there's one very clear path that is superior than the others. Yeah. So it's very, it makes it very hard not to take that path. There's always, there's always a meta with any game. I guess that's the thing. That's why I haven't really looked at... Barbarian builds. I just kind of went with what I thought was right. But I have seen a few people running Hammer of the Ancients, so. I think with Necromancer, it might be that summons are just bad. Um, yeah. Because that, that, was sure. the, that was the big problem. I played the Necromancer during the. Uh, the server stress testing, and it was fine 90% of the time, it's just when you were at a boss or like a world boss, your minions just got destroyed and then you were basically useless, like there was nothing you could do. Yeah. I've got a friend who's a pretty high level necromancer, running basically minions, and he mm. seems to be doing okay, but... I'm out of fury. Yeah, they did buff them, so. I mean, it was fun, man. I think for solo play, it's definitely a good class. Because with Corpse Explosion and the minions, like, doing the, the masteries didn't suck as much as the other classes. Oh, Conduit. Let's go. Try and find it right away. There it is. Oh, they're both the up. I'm going to the other one. If that one's almost dead. You can get that one. I'm not ready. That is a great, great timing. God, I got into like um, got into a habit of not picking things up on my main character. I gotta shake that off. <laughs> I need things on this character. I need more fury. Often. Yeah, I've just been picking up for materials and selling. Yeah, I've discovered that money becomes an actual issue later on, so. Yeah, yeah. Have a good balance. I've been selling. It, it became an issue for me already. I, mean, I think I'm at like a million. Dickheads, the big ballista oh, the, things. Oh, the ballista bows, yeah, they, they fucking yeah. suck. Wait, where are we? Oh, that way, I see. Um, hang on. <laughs> this map is like a little, a little weird. Yeah, they do insane amounts of physical damage, which like, I guess makes sense, but... The amount of times they're kind of on the edge of everything, and then you just get hit, and... Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, sometimes they'll just snipe me from off screen. It feels bad. Every time. I don't have enough
Okay, I finally hit 52. Hooray. Right, surprise, surprise, the Blood Wave ultimate is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> the Blood Wave. Hey, hey caller, and welcome back. How's the uh, picnic thingy? I only just started playing this. I finished the Gerudo thing temple. Oh. Oh, okay. That's new. Nope. Nope. I haven't seen that before. Oh, I see. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't ready. It was more like a feel that on a technical there was oh, no yeah. food. Jeez. So I did they call it a picnic and not have food? Sounds like a crime to me. Oh dude, you have no idea like Colin was telling um, the story of like the, the recital. Just how much they had to pay to get recital tickets for their kids thing. The school just sounds like just... a slow key, just like a ripoff. Just every opportunity. If you were to go if you were to go to a child's recital. How much do you think it would cost you a ticket? Uh, per, per like fifteen to twenty dollars, maybe. Fifteen to twenty. <laughs> That's what I would have thought, but no. I'm not ready. How much was it? Forty. Oh. Per person. And then they have to purchase. They have to purchase some other thing on top of that. Yeah, that's a yikes. Yeah, that's like taking advantage of it. And when you break down the ticket fee, it was something like there was a processing fee that was basically the majority of the cost of that. A processing fee? Yeah, we're talking. We're talking about a school here as well, right? Like Is not. He? Like, not tick a tech going to fucking Broadway, right? Like, this is a school charging the convenience fee. And the ticket per per person is 40. So if two parents want to see it, it's 80. And then some other fee brought it to 100. So it's pretty much, they were like, okay, let's get $100 out of each family. You know... Stuff like that, man. Like, when? Wh where's the Karen when you actually need one? Ah, ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. that's that's yeah. where Karen is justified in my mind. That's the hero we need, <laughs> yeah. but don't necessarily want. This is your time, Karen. This is it. This is your moment. Yeah. Anyway. No. Yeah. That's. Ridiculous. Wait, this is another detail, and some of the kids are in more than one recital, so you have to buy tickets for more than one recital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was an asshole. Where's the people here? Oh, yeah, get rid of them. I mean, we, we had something similar happen, um... The school tried to put this, this hidden fee in, because you would go collect your textbooks and stationery on a particular day, and it was just all convenient, so you didn't have to go look for them yourself, right? They would just kind of provide a bundle and you'd go buy it, pick it up. But when you would get to the front, they'd give you an invoice. And so the invoice would have the price of the book, but then they would have this thing called a voluntary contribution fee tacked onto the bottom. And 
and my dad just did not pay it every year. He's like, take this off right now. It says voluntary. If you're adding it to it, it's not voluntary, is it? You're making it compulsory. Oh. What, is going on? what is going on here? What? Why is this so gnarly all of a sudden? They, they're healing. What are they healing off? Oh, it's the blood. I see. They're healing off the pool. Yeah, the vampire shit. Yeah. Holy crap. Ooh, the, this is... I, I can't I can't bring it down low enough. Yeah, I mean, got the, ma got, got the mastery. I just have to... Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm coming. I don't know why it's spawning so far away. Just, just... The music that was playing is kind of big. Oh, oh man. Explosion! There we go. Damn. Oh, it was that an was event a... too. That's why. Yeah. Oh no, we still have to slay all the enemies. So yeah, I mean. Oh, man, that was nuts. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through some of this loot later. Nutty. Another event, really? <laughs> oh no. I need okay. more fury. I haven't seen this one before, so this is sort of refreshing. Oh my. This is, this is, uh, wow. So many exploding assholes. Honestly. To try and destroy the altar. Okay. I don't think we've done much to the altar. Why are these so insane? Yeah, we did not get close to destroying that altar. meant to be go oh yeah they're all back here Blast wave. Blast wave. Oh, they're all back here. This is the last pocket of them. Hey, it's 
I look away for a second and then I'm surrounded again. This one somewhere. No. Oh, come on. Done. Okay. Aspect of uncanny treachery. Yeah, it's a druid one. So, I think most of the ones remaining are rogue and druid. It's fine. I'm sure I'll have a druid eventually. Yeah, same. It's just not top priority. Okay, I'll probably do something with this chest piece. Keep them sharp, keep them ready. While not healthy, magical bubbles summoned around you. Gain damage reduction for the bleeding enemy. Oh, this is slightly different. For 3 seconds, for 4.5 seconds. Guess we'll do that. Okay. Got the magical bubble thing, so that'll be super helpful. I forge more than horseshoes and nails. Oh, let's get what rid of need? this. <laughs> this just... Uh, I suppose I should extract that aspect. Hey, Cappy, how's D4 going? It's going fine. It's fun. Just, uh, I'm playing through the story still. I, I haven't rushed through the content like most people. So I'm just doing dungeons and stuff at the moment. Kind of trying to get what I can from each act before moving on. Okay. Got that. Uh, let me see. Okay. I guess there's a dungeon here. Haven't done it yet. Yeah, the story is cool with all the cutscenes and that. It's just, I guess, the side quests and whatnot is what people are not doing. They just want to get to the the light game, which eh, I mean, it's not. It's not like there's a contest or anything at the moment. It's just the release of the game, and there's no super real incentive to do it. Okay. 
Uh, reach the dungeon, so whenever you're ready. Okay, so I was just... No, that's fine. Take your time. If you want to look at skills and stuff, that's fine as well. I can look at my Paragon board. I'd have to worry too much about what my build is until I get a legendary that kind of sways me. Kind of what ended up happening with my sorcerer anyways, I just got legendaries that swayed me in one direction or another eventually. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, like, think about these glyphs. But maybe it's too early for me to start worrying about this. Yeah, the Paragon boards, for me personally, kind of hurt my brain to look at. They, yeah, I mean... Like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but this is the kind of complexity that people wanted, because D3 had none whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have the complexity than, like, the oversimplification, but... Yeah. That said, it's a, it's a lot. It is a lot, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Cap. It's a new game, and have plenty of times to play other, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know, you just don't appreciate the world they've built otherwise if you're rushing through it. I mean, once it gets down to the the season stuff they're gonna do, then sure, let's just jump to the end game because that's what that's about. But I've been having a lot of fun just running around with my Bob, just screaming and smacking shit with my big stick. Just the the sounds of the hammer are just super satisfying. That it's in advance for the piles of darkness I'm going to start creating. <laughs> don't worry. They're going to be everywhere. I, don't worry. I, I've seen them, actually. Yeah. They're, they're great for damage, but fuck me, you can't. You cannot see anything. You can't see anything anymore. anymore. You just can't see anything <laughs> yeah. anymore, yeah. I know, but it's, it's, the, uh, it's a good skill. Yeah. I'm sure they'll fix this. It's so it's so stupid. There's no way they don't fix it, dude. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't see my character I, here. I know. Just, when you're surrounded by to. enemies, it's just Yeah, they have to chill on that darkness effect for sure. I was playing with Kat and she was running this, this skill, and it was fine because I was running Sorceress. But I could only imagine how it would have been like with Bob just not seeing that many enemies I have around me. So now I'll, I'll test my skill and see if I can not yeah, die. Now you don't have to imagine. Now I don't have to imagine. Yeah, I have some friends who stopped running that build just because of this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Bob is one of his work and has the D3 Mecha Bolt Explosion build. The Bob is just so much fun though. Like, for once the Bob is played as it should be. The Bob when D3 launched it was just not great. But I'm, I'm happy it's in this state. Especially when the hammer just... You see an enemy at half health, like an elite, and then you use your hammer and it's just, that's it. It just deletes them. 
sadly they'll nerf it. They've already nerfed one of the skills. <laughs> Pretty much right away they, are, they already nerfed uh, the cry. So it doesn't reduce as much damage as it used to. I seem to always pick the class that gets nerfed right away. I don't know. In D3 it was Monk and Monk got the most nerfs out of any class. Had skills completely reworked because they were just insanely broken. I was wondering if Monk was going to be the next class, but supposedly the next class is going to be something that's never been in Diablo before, so... Yeah. There were, there were rumors that it was going to be the, a Valkyrie. But That'd be cool. Hints at the Amazonian lore, basically. So it's, it's not quite an Amazonian, but uh, it's like from that sort of tree of things. I'd be into that. Yeah, I mean, I love the Amazonian in D2, so... Yeah, so the monk got wrecked in D3. Yeah, so many builds. It had, I think, the most sort of just completely breaking the game. So it had Exploding Palm, it had um, zero downtime on Serenity, there was that build. And the game first launch, monks would be stacking uh, the mantras and were basically untouchable as a group of four. Just, yeah. Most nerfs, and has been part of every, like, group meta. It never left the group meta. Every other role kind of got cycled in and out, the monk was always in it. So Standby was the best character in D3. Maybe not necessarily the one that did the most damage, but the one that, well, no matter what in group play, you would want a monk. I think maybe you got lucky with that build that didn't get enough. Just maybe at a time where the game was more in maintenance mode and they... Because a lot of the builds haven't changed in a while that game. With the exception of the new ones that they introduced just as a last hurrah. Ugh. Event last day. This is the one where we have to defend stuff, I think. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Seeing these guys? He's just T posed fat dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've gotten that before. It's. I think it's just not removing the body properly. The only other thing I, I hope they fix is just the way to track dungeons and quests. Yeah, it'd be great too to have some kind of like group finder and stuff like that too. Yeah, I think there's definitely a bit of that in this thing. There's no matchmaking really because it kind of happens on the fly. But I guess I don't want to go full MMO to um, concern people. Yeah. Because then we're talking about like a spot in town where people gas up and go, oh yeah, I want to go do this, I want to go do that. Something for your troubles. I have not succeeded with this one. Like having all three survive.
Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't really been looking at the stats of things now. That's kind of just if it has something useful, I'll keep it. Especially if this one goes well, it, probably. But if it goes full MMO, I won't play it. It's just when it's full MMO, you really, you really need a group of people to play it with. Otherwise, it's just it doesn't work. Or as in right now, it's still fine to play single. There's definitely some skewing towards group play, but. It's not too bad. That's the only thing that doesn't grab me about MMOs is just you have to really have people to play with to get full yeah. benefit out of it. And usually there's a subscription fee involved with Twitch. Eh, no thanks. Uh, one of my friends has been trying to get me back in a while for ages. Yeah, it's just... It's not happening. Not doing it. That time of my life came and went. Yeah. The other thing is I just like that I can pick this up for a little bit and drop it, whereas in MMO events, they tend to be a thing where you have to schedule them. You have to organize with people. Okay, we're gonna do this on this day and dedicate like two hours to do this goal. Uh, it's not for me. Oh yeah. That same dude has like scheduled raid times that he can't miss, otherwise he's yeah. gonna get like kicked out of his guild. Yeah, or like exactly. benched on the next raid. This is like, dude, I, I have that stuff in my job where I have to follow a calendar and, like, make exactly. sure... Exactly, literally, that's what I tell him. I'm like, dude, I already have a job. I don't need another one. <laughs> I don't need another, exactly. I like the fact that if someone's on with this, yeah, I can play a game with someone. And if no one's on, it's just great. Or if I don't feel like playing for months, that's also fun. I just, I never tried WoW because when it came out, I was in university and I saw, I guess, what it could potentially do to people, and I was right. People would turn up and just, they had no sleep. Kind of ruined them a little. Yep, that was me and my ladders. You just play a group play in a way to epic level dungeon, etc. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, still, you'd be missing out on, I guess, the primary intent of the game. I think this is a good middle ground. There was no enemies around when you leveled up. No. I 
I gotta catch up on the stuff that was announced at Summer Games as well. I haven't had a look at all the trailers and stuff. Yeah, I didn't watch... Didn't watch it, personally. Yeah, neither. But they do have all the trailers up on the list, so you don't have to watch the fluff around it. I've heard the new Street Fighter game is actually pretty decent. I mean, I'm not... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm not into, you know, sweaty fighting games. Like, getting sweaty, I guess I should say. But I do enjoy playing them, like if I'm at someone's house and they have it. Uh, but the career mode thing looks pretty good. You kind of walk around in the world and you start fights with people. <laughs> yeah, the character creation also looks like a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly that too. That Diablo stays this way, and those sweaty girls forcing raids every Tuesdays or whenever. We think Blizzard will eventually push in that direction. Yeah, I mean, what's gonna happen is whatever comes next, they might try to push in that direction. But it doesn't necessarily mean it'll stay in that direction, because I think it'll fragment the player base. There are some people that do like the WoW experience, and there are those that don't. And at the end of the day, if they're not bringing something like this, then I'm sure this game will remain active and people just won't play the new one. Or, uh... I'll start to find one more. Or just some, move on to some other game that's similar. I mean, it's crazy to think they were toying with making Diablo for a Souls-like game originally, before they scrapped it. Oh, where- oh, there it is. Thank fuck, it's just down there. I thought for a sec we'd have to go <laughs> around the whole dungeon looking. Okay, it's just coming out. I think with Activision at the helm, they're just going to be pushing for monthly sub numbers. Oh well, I guess we'll see what the future brings. Um, whilst the deal to acquire them from Microsoft is hit a road bump, it could still go ahead. And if it swaps owners to them, that might not be a factor anymore. I think the deal got approved everywhere but the UK, so... Wait. Oh, fuck. What? We're still not done? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I thought I was done. Uh, but I don't... All right. Uh, All right. Maybe that right corner? Right corner. Yeah, down here. Yeah. I thought that was the last one. I got too eager to finish it. Yeah, that's true. There he is! Teleport off. If Microsoft can fetch it might be better, which is weird because they're usually the bad guy. I mean, 1990s and early 2000s, Microsoft was the bad guy. They're less the bad guy these days. Oh. Got the deposit now. 
I mean, being better than Activision, the bar's not very high on that one. <laughs> it is not a very high bar. If they were to have a prison program that let them develop games, I'm sure they could probably clear that bar. projectiles that it shoots that seek you out. They do a lot of damage. Yes. Really annoying. And they make you vulnerable, which is this. Yeah, I hate vulnerability. That just reminds me of the debuff that used to be in D3 that would just remove your armor. Too many enemies have the ability to make you vulnerable. Couple that with just freezing, fearing, slow, poison. So many times where I just feel like the game is saying, yeah, fuck you for picking a melee character. bar is set by EA. You think? I don't know how EA has gone in terms of uh, complaints and lawsuits against them by staff, but I think just the whole Blizzard Activision fiasco thing the last couple of years. Mm, nothing really interesting here. Can't say I've heard much along the lines of that stuff coming out from uh, EA. Keep autopiloting. Maybe their damage control team is just masters at their craft at this point. Mm, yeah, maybe they know how to sweep the rug a bit better. That's kind of why I want Microsoft to like acquire that company is just to clean that shit up. Maybe it should be a blood boy. Oh, you think about blood skills? Yeah, because the scythe is fun and all, but it just. Uh... Oh no. It could be one of those things where this it's just at the start it sucks and then later it's fine. Cause that that's yeah. sometimes a thing in Diablo is like builds will hit their stride at a particular point and it's not necessarily that they're viable at the start. Like you might have to play something until later. 
for sure. I still haven't gotten that piece of gear yet either that's like swaying me in any kind of direction. Oh, okay. Like, I still haven't seen a single legendary drop, period. I'm only level 20, so I can't be dropping too hard. Yeah, I can't remember when my one dropped. Have you used um, the herbals at all? Like, you could probably get one through there. Okay, I guess go to the northern pocket. There's a bunch of stuff. Do you sever at all? Huh? The skill sever. Yeah. Okay. There's a dungeon that uh, the aspect is critical strikes from sever have a chance to spawn a pool of blight under the target for bonus damage. So we can go get that one. Sounds good. Okay, uh, that one is at the northernmost point of the map, so I'll go there. The Bob in D2 wasn't really viable until Act 3. Um, well, the, eventually it, it kind of became the Singer Bob, where you had to run the Singer build pretty much to get through the playthrough of the game. <laughs> and then afterwards you would swap to, uh, to whatever you actually wanted to do. The bar, yeah, the times that I played Bob, I would have to run Singer until got through the game and then afterwards respec. But, I mean, Amazonian as well, if you wanted to play like a Boazon, you would not be able to do that early on. It just would not work. So I'm sure there's some of that in this as well. Whirlwind's another example as well. It's just that's a a build that just with not much points into it, it doesn't work well. I love Amazonian in D2, like the Lightning Fury and then the newer builds that came and resurrected. Um, they made Spear Amazonian just insanely good. They allowed her to uh, self-wield infinity, and that just gave insane damage output. That's why I'm kind of hoping the rumors of the Valkyrie for D4 are, are true, because I would probably make that uh, my main. <laughs> Shit, I can't get down there to get back. That's fine. Wait, what is... Oh, right. That's where you light it. Okay. Uh, Alright, I've gone in the dungeon. Yeah. Gonna try out being a blood boy. Blood boy. Alright. Blood. Blood skills seem fun. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to experience early D2, like, only through Resurrected, but I still had a lot of fun with it. Just back when it was in its prime, just did not have a good computer. <laughs> My first Diablo game was D3, uh, first action RPG was Titan Quest, so...
This will uh, take away the whole darkness issue as well for the time being. Hmm. God <laughs> bless you. Let's try. I, I keep trying to read up more on this affiliate change thing because it's worried the crap out of me when I saw the email announcement. Anyway, it's all good. Yeah. Bastard. I keep forgetting that you're still, like, uh, sick. Yeah. I gotta buy stuff tomorrow. It's gonna be miserable, but I gotta get groceries. I don't like these things, the ones that love the green grenades or whatever. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. Yeah, they're just massive. Clusters. I mean, they don't do much damage on their own, but when they're in a large enough cluster, they're just so scattered out. for a solid two weeks, oof. Yeah, I'm lucky that I don't get sick that often. But when I do, man, it hits like a truck. I still can't believe they added extra health in this game. After they got rid of them in D3, because people hated them. Yeah, I'd love to hear the lock, but I'm bringing it back. 
voyage on the coast. Yeah, you would hope it would have been fine-tuned, but I just haven't experienced any late-game content to be... I guess have an informed opinion on it. Their singular duty. This incompetence has caused the body of the ship and endangered the lives of my knights. You got something? I leading a shore party to find those responsible. Piece of candy. Find them to the Set them on the right. Damn it. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, there it is. Don't get the old teleport behind me trick. That's funny when Melee teleports because it has to walk back. Interesting dungeon layout. Still haven't found a single bell though. shot on. So that is pretty nasty. So I'm not dying all the time anymore. Yeah. I mean, I, I do appreciate the, the group thing. Cosmetic horse armor. Oh? I didn't get anything. Was it a special color? Uh, hmm. <coughs> I don't know. Just random drop, I guess. Interesting. They did talk about cosmetics being like a. a drop thing. Just that we're uncommon.
Oh, you can get tiny skins from drops as well. Aren't you? There you go. Yeah, I mean, they did say that was going to happen, just so people didn't think that the store was just the only way to get cosmetics. I do appreciate that they did not go like Diablo Immortal on us. I don't know if they would have survived it if they did. They would not have, you know. They were already quite far into the shitter when they were getting. I mean, even right now, like, buying all the skins, it's something like 300 and something, 50 bucks. Yeah, the prices Ish. are gross. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how much the battle pass costs. If that's the baseline. Probably the same as Overwatch. very particular about skins. If I, if I am to get one, it has to be one where I'm like, yep. It's for the class that I'm gonna play the most. And it has to be, like, perfect. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not get it. Yeah. I'll have to like every single thing about it. Yeah, exactly. There can't be a single detail. There can't be a single like, detail. Yeah. I was like, nah, I don't like that. It's the only way. One problem with the only it's only cosmetics argument is they can easily gatekeep the well designed armors behind the paywall. That's personal taste. Yeah. I'm not giving them an out by saying it's only cosmetics. It's just I think this this stuff looks fine. I don't think it's there's that much of a discrepancy right now, but they could very well in future change that. Um For me, it, it doesn't matter that much, but I know I'm not everyone. Ultimately, it still comes down to personal taste. I mean, at the end but of the I'm, day, I still hate that we're in a place where we can pay, like, full price for a game and then there's still microtransactions in it. Yeah. Like, that's still just generally grody for sure. Yeah. I mean, I thought they would have gone down the path of Exile route, where it's a free game and then it's just the shop that keeps them afloat. But see, Path of Exile is a game that does that um, gatekeeping of uh, good-looking armors behind paid content, right? I think the difference between the armor in this game and the paid armors is not... There is a clear difference, but it's not as large as say part of exile where it's like oh no it's painfully apparent but on the other hand you don't pay for part of exile you don't pay like 70 us dollars or a hundred and something australian dollars for the game so there's that See what the future brings. I'm just hoping that, because one of the things is, and the best example is Team Fortress 2, is like the charm, the art direction, and everything of the game can often be lost through the microtransactions and cosmetics, where it just becomes this visual mess later. It's not something that happens right away, but like, three years down the line, stuff start, starts looking a bit, uh, a bit of a departure from the original art style.
Yeah, I do think they could easily just like break the tone of this game with stupid cosmetics. Yeah, just like glowing auras or just armors that have these particle effects or something. this lost bell? Oh, this way. the health of that doll just disappear. Okay, well there you go, that's a good aspect for you. Like it, I like it. Black Desert Online, what did I do? Buy to play with armor set skins that grant you extra XP. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, con convenience microtransactions are the worst. Yeah. That's what they call them. Uh, I mean, I, I would rather a game without this shit, but, you know... This is, I think, currently, it's, it's possible, it's fine. Um, like, it's, it's ignorable, I guess, is, is the thing I'm trying to say, so. It's just, I think... It sucks for people that have addictive tendencies, but also just for kids, man. Kids are going to play this, whether you like it or not. Like, it's not a game for kids, but kids will definitely play this. And there's just this propensity to make fun of people that don't buy skins, calling them poor. I already have younger cousins where that's happened to them, where they... They didn't buy stuff from a from a store, and they were called poor, basically. Yeah. It's the same. Sh it's the same shit that I used to get when I, because I never got to have Pokemon cards, and they would do that shit to me. So it's just like kids are assholes, and these skins is just is just another form of that, and these companies know that. But, you know, picking that over, um, pay to progress, or being locked out of content until you pay, or stifled progression. Right? For the sake of, uh, encouraging purchasing of items. That's the shit that sucks, and this doesn't have that. Progression isn't stifled, it's just cosmetics, and... I would rather not have it at all, but... You know, they believe that they need to make infinite money, so if they're going to choose a way to do that, well. I would rather them do it this way. <laughs> That's sad that I didn't get Pokemon cards. Well, I mean, look, poor family, uh, multiple kids. Um, it's just priorities, man. It's like you could give your eldest child some pieces of cardboard or you could buy food I think I know which was prioritized so I understand that completely uh, I did 
have a few Pokemon cards and they came from friends that gave me duplicates because they would buy booster packs or um, decks and they just had a bunch of duplicates so the ones that I did have came from that pretty much. But yeah, when Pokemon cards were brought up, they're like, oh, what, you can't afford $5? I'm like, it's not the point. <laughs> Kids can be assholes. Alright, I'm picking the next dungeon. Just go to the closest one. But, you know, uh, like 25 years later, I, I bought some. <laughs> And I can see, I, I can definitely see the dopamine hit that they give. I still have some unopened ones, like, on the shelf here. I'm not exactly sure. I guess whenever the next Pokemon game is, I can open them up. Or just keep them. I don't know. I, for some strange reason, I kept getting um, waifu cards. I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> What's that a mm about? The waifu card or are you just thinking about a build? Uh, yeah! Build. Yeah. Random is random. But the cards that I got from what I opened, they kind of paid for the... If I was to sell those cards, they would pay for what I spent, so... Get some, uh, what's it called? Poke stocks. Lay yeah. away for do, a rainy do, day. Do you know what they're doing that I, I will 90% cave and get? They're, re mm. they're, they're releasing a limited edition um, reprint of the originals. So they're going to have, like, a, a special deck you can buy. Yeah. So it's, like, all the ones from the OG set. Yeah, that's like, that's like, say less, I mean. You Dude. got me with that one, Nintendo. Yeah. Prey on my nostalgia, bastards. Get that Charizard card, or I want the Blastoise card more than anything else. That was my starter in, in red. We'll see. They haven't talked about a price, but they use they kept using the word premium set. Premium set. Premium set. So it is probably gonna be fucking expensive and scalpers will be all over that shit. I mean, that's always the case. It has calmed down. During COVID, it, it kind of got insane. Just how people went crazy for Pokemon cards for a while. Myself included. But... Just people camping out Kmarts and Targets and... Someone low-jacked the delivery truck so they would know when the delivery of Pokemon cards would happen. <laughs> That's the extent it went to. That's just like... <laughs> amazing at certain point, like... Yeah. I'm just impressed. The extent people will go for things sometimes. My brother was talking about all these tradesmen that would come into, you know, the story works out. It's effectively GameStop, but the Australia's version of it. And they were talking, they would buy, like, a bunch of Pokemon cards and they would complain that there was a limit on it and then they would try to go into a conversation with my brother about like how these cards are an in investment and he's like dude you guys are idiots it's like the cards that are worth a lot of money are the original ones the ones that are 30 years old are you really gonna ha hang on to these cards for 30 
in the hope that they might do that again. I don't know. You've got to want to charge and go sold out anywhere, everywhere. And that's what sucked, is just the people that were buying them weren't people that enjoyed the cards. It was just people that fell into that hype that, oh, you know, a bunch of YouTubers were making money and auctioning these older cars and so I just caused this thing of everyone thinking oh that's how I can make money easily and yeah the people that suffered were the fans ultimately yep Come you it oh yeah I will say, there was something about, like, opening one of those anniversary packs that had one of the uh, old school cards in there. Just the nostalgia hit, the happy. Yep. Just... I believe someone had an inside. It wasn't an insider thing, it was just fucking Logan Paul opening shit. And then they auction off those cards, and because it was Logan Paul, just people paid a stupid amount for those cards. And so a bunch of other people thought, oh, if I do that, I can make as much money as well. And it just started this craze where then people thought, oh, I can invest in Pokemon cards. I'll buy a bunch of them now, and then I'll try and sell them at a ridiculous price later, like Logan Paul did. Because there's Kobe. so much TV drama around that shit, it's like insane. Yeah, I mean... The thing that I'll say that I, I kinda... Two things that I stick to... And it just helps you steer away from bullshit like that is... One, rich people will never ever tell poor people how to get rich legitimately. If a rich person is telling a poor person how to get rich, it's because they will benefit like an infinite times more than you will. Or it's a scam. Or it's bullshit. And, yeah, the other one is, like, if everyone's talking about something being a way to make money, that means it's not a good idea and the ship's already sailed. It's already at saturation. Like, when I have my some of my uncles, and look, I'm not saying my uncles are dumb by any means, but, like, when they're talking about certain things that are ways to make money and it's just repeated by all of them, it's just like, okay, this is already too late. It's reached you guys. It's just like... The classic pyramid setup. Like, it's reached the bottom of the pyramid at that point. Mm -hmm. Oh, stealing a full truck of graphics cards. It wasn't graphics cards, it was Pokemon cards. <laughs> they low-jacked a, a, a delivery truck. Someone waited in the parking lot. They saw the delivery truck. They saw them putting the boxes into the retail outlet, and then they low-jacked the truck. It was not an inside job at all. It was so they would know when the, uh... Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that method. Sorry, my bad. Just focusing. Some do during the Bitcoin mining boom. They make the truck full of AMBRX 580 and the cards. Yeah, that was probably an inside job. If the truck got done, then yeah. No, the Pokemon card thing was not to that level. It was just someone 
did it so they would know when the truck was making the delivery for the next. But that's thankfully passed. Like most things, I think people realize, oh, this was a terrible idea to purchase all these Pokemon cards. The easiest way to defeat Scalping is just to not cave, basically, and just be patient. Seems to have them in the corner. <laughs> Art move. Not sure how I managed to do that for all three of them, but cool. What are these boots? Ah, I keep getting them. Just stuff that isn't for the build. Oh, okay. That thing disappeared. The smash. Ow. Yeah, just... People making money over human, basic human need, and will always do that. Reminds me of the whole toilet paper thing that happened in the pandemic, man. Just, that's the level people went down to. Back in Hawaii, apparently that shit's happening again. Again, really? Shit. What's the reason? Well, less because of COVID this time, more because something about like a strike for the boat workers uh, or something along those lines. Gotcha. Logistics. But still, pretty yeah. pretty sad. Oh, there's a couple to the left. There. Okay. Yeah, it's like people's immediate thoughts is just, how can I profit off this? We'll go to the left. Oh, bad chest. <coughs> Oh, it's shooting. That's shooting the bottles. At the very least, some funny memes always comes out of these things. Yeah. Do like, you remember that guy that built like a toilet paper throne? Yeah. That shit was pretty funny. Ridiculous that I just up at like 7 in the morning to try and go get the soil up over. something. Or candy. You saved my life. 
Okay, I would imagine... Oh, see, there's a spot down here we missed. Mind this again. But now I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. We do you have just a bunch of these dogs just Yeah. <laughs> it's just They're just stuck there, I guess. It's like a it's like a um you know, one of those museums. Yeah. Oh my god. So many of them. I'm surprised one of them hasn't died yet. Oh, stop it! Get off of me! Yeah, I'm trying to use my taunts to get them off. Take this, my friend. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I hope it helps. Here. Something for your troubles. You deserve this. Never seen anyone fight like you. I'm gonna to suck it. Pants. I can't do anymore. Oh, uh, I'll drop a few things. Wow. Ah, oh, sick! I got another plus one war cry. Nice. Got a weapon drop that I can't use yet. That's happens not happened in a while. Oh, you dropped this. I see what happened. Yeah, I dropped it. Because I'm out of space. <laughs> so, can't be bothered uh, going yeah, back to town. Yeah, that's fair enough. We're almost through this. Horrific sound in the air or in my head. My mind is still something. Something. affiliate agreement but like one of the things they say is you agree to stream for a reasonable amount of time and interact with your viewers what it's in writing it's just, i don't know a bit weird 
They, they are, man. Like, they, I feel like every few months they just do something stupid to piss people off. Like, they probably have a sign somewhere inside their, their building that just says days without incident, and they just scratch that number off every now and then. Yeah, it's just got, like, permanent eraser marks all over it. Yeah. It's constantly on zero. Put it out. Really? Eat my oh my! <laughs> it's still alive. It's all <laughs> fuck. Got you, bitch. Dude. <laughs> what world was that? Is that necessary? Ugh. Alright. It's making shit take longer for no good reason. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna enchant real quick. Careful, piece of spice cake! Oh, of course not. Why would Is this you? One? All my wares yes. taste of smoke! Okay, um. I don't think blood is really my vibe either. No? Just from what I'm seeing so far from it. Mm. Do I just not like the necromancer class? Is that what's happening to me right now? Give me a chance. Give me some more time. Magic is neither good I should probably extract evil. that aspect. How That's a good one. Dramatics. Glad respecting in this game is so easy. Yeah, I know, right? Am I a bone boy? Maybe I'm a bone boy. Okay, I'm gonna craft some gems real quick. Well done. It's 
supposed to try and get a different helm. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I guess I need it imprinted. next it's gonna stash some gems first I think I can get rid of this now Sack. Yeah, I guess that one. Alright. It's a barbarian one, but it's not for what I'm doing, but still. I would imagine whatever aspects you have is probably the better build to go at the moment. at the dungeon. Alrighty. On my way. Apparently a third of the way through. What is this? <laughs> oh no! Indestructible. <laughs> Why can I do that? 
Is that you? <laughs> That's you. Yeah. I thought that was an enemy skill. Oh, no, it's me. So wait, did you did you choose did you choose to do that or is that just? I mean, Why well? You can think of it as one or two ways, like you're sealing them in with me, and they're going to die, or are you just fucking me over? Like, what is that? Why? Why is that ability allowed? <laughs> Diablo 2 had something similar like that. I <laughs> what the fuck is? Like I can't, I can't, I can't walk through it either. But can you control it? Like, or is it... Yeah, I can speak where it is. Okay, but. Still. I can see well, the value honestly. in it, you just have to be very fucking careful with it. Yeah. I... Like, I don't want to be sitting on plague and then have that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you trap you on a poison bottle or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. That's so dumb. I thought that was an enemy skill, I <laughs> started like, oh, there's a wall here. But it doesn't even damage or anything, it's, it's just like a, a zoning it's... skill. Yeah, it makes, like, the, like, the, like, they're vulnerable while they're inside of it or something. Oh, okay. Which is great and all, but... No, but I think that's good then, because if they're vulnerable, that means my physical damage is going to mess them up. Yeah. But my hammer's going to hit extra hard. It still just seems like a recipe for disaster, though. Oh, no, yeah. Without a doubt, like, I'm going to die to it at some point. I gotta take that skill away from myself. <laughs> well, it's fine for now. Just yeah, I gotta. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna troll. Let's just try it now with the elite. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Try, try it now. Try it now. Try it now. I want to see what my damage becomes. Oh. Oh, I can dash. It oh, I can dash into it. I dashed into it. Okay. I would assume you could dash out of it as well, though. Like, oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I oh, no, yeah, no you, can, you can dash out of it. You I... can dash out of it. You can dash out of okay. it. Okay. You just can't walk through it. Okay, uh, so that, that, then that's fine. Gonna... That's fine. Oh. It, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't mess up if there's plague. I'm going to dash anyway, so that's fine. Yeah. If I need to bail, I can dash. Okay, it's not that bad. It is funny, but it's not as bad. Stupid bearing. I'm not ready. Dude, do you know what's funny? I learned that yeah. um that in the new Pokemon game, because I haven't played it or paid attention to the new Pokemon they've introduced. There's a worm Pokemon right. in the new ones. They actually made a worm Pokemon. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I saw it and man, just thought of thought of you, man. Just I'm so glad that the sight of worms makes you, makes you think of me. It really is. Because you, you made me generate a whole fucking folder of wor worm images. It really is one of my proudest achievements to this day. And I spent like $4 on I those worms. I paid you pay, pay to generate worms. Yeah. Only me. Only I can <laughs> achieve such a thing.
to hang on. I might I might still have the folder, but like I, I can show a, a screenshot of it. Just to recap on it. But we were using an AI that generates Pokemon with prompts. And so I'd say for a good 40 minutes we were trying to generate a worm Pokemon and the images that came back were just earthworms, man. <laughs> so I was saving all of them. I had a folder of just worm images. And it was charging me the image. Lelo's so, worm files, dude. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was pretty negligible, but by the end of it, it was a couple bucks. Oh, good times. You were, you were dying when I showed you the screenshot of the folder. That shit was hilarious, dude. Especially the fact that I was It was like all of the realizations all at once. Like, the fact that it's just a folder full of worms, and also the fact that you're, like, paying actual money for it. Yep. Yeah, I'll all see if of, I can all find of that. the image. Ooh, maybe I can't find the image. Do I still have the folder? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Worm. Apparently I don't have... <laughs> oh, no, it's on the drive, that's why. Right, I'll look for it later. I put the screenshot in Discord, but I tried searching for worms and it just didn't appear. I think I just shared uh, the screenshot. <laughs> or was I... Maybe I just sent it to you directly. Hang on. Oh my god, that image. <laughs> I found another... I found another one. Um... Do you remember how I I put in that prompt that may or may not have generated uh, that cursed image that was not suitable? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I found that. That's that's another good one for sure. <laughs> let's just let's just not talk about that one. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I'll leave. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Um, hey Clive, why don't I have drops? There are drops for this? I don't know. I wasn't aware. I'm just playing. Alright, so that burn prison is, is yeah, beneficial. Yeah, it is beneficial, like I seem to do more damage for something that's in the circle with me. Yeah. So... I'll just try to time it well, you know, not... I can dash out of it, that's the important thing. Just do that and it's fine. Right. I need time to do I thought that it was messing me up, but it's fine. Yes, yeah, so when I first used it and realized I couldn't walk through it, I was just yeah. mind blown that it would let me do that. That's no, okay. It's less egregious than that. I'm not ready. Uh get that. A ball of lightning that retrieved a statue. The fun so far. Yeah, I mean, I've always enjoyed the Diablo series because it's something I can turn my brain off with and I do enjoy like, the idea of building a character, so. If you are into this sort of stuff, you'll find it fun. I've made a screaming barbarian lady that just three out of the what six skills are screams and then I guess the fourth one is technically a scream. It's an elevated scream and then punch and then hammer. Love the sound of the hammer hitting stuff. <laughs> 
Wait, oh, this is nothing. Go back. I'm guessing you're gonna stick to this bone thing then. Yes, so. It's far, it's the one that's entertained me the most by far. Oh so. uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it. It is definitely useful that circle, as long as it's yeah, timed it's correctly. It's good. I'm. I'm. I'm growing. It's growing on me. I guess the best way to think of it is you're not trapping me, you're trapping them. Yeah. Class recommendations. That's a tough one. I haven't played all the classes. Um, each of them has something that I think are good. I think the one that felt right for me was Barbarian. But that's because I personally like the hammer thing, but... I mean, they're all pretty distinct. Like, the rogue has a seamless way to swap between bow and uh, knife, knife moves. Uh, the necromancer has a choice of going full summons or sacrificing summoning power to get, like, a personal ability. Or you can go a bit of both. I think the Druid is the only class that I haven't really touched upon. Sorceress is just Sorceress. Pick an element and you'll do fine. The Cold is the best one, apparently. Have I forgotten one? I feel like I've forgotten a class. Druid is the only one that I... I have no knowledge of because I haven't played it at all. I think you covered it. Yeah. It just depends on what you enjoy. Um, more of a caster type, necromancer, sorceress. If you enjoy just whacking shit with a massive stick and trying to tank everything, Bob. If you enjoy sneaky sneak and traps and all that and rogue druid i don't know it's, it's never sat well with me but you've got transformation abilities and uh magic to you some wanna extent you want to be in a, in like a bear yeah if you want to be a bear or a werewolf You know what? I bet this ability is very useful for the goblins, dude, that run away. You just trap oh, them. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You played Droid way back in one of the early outfits. It felt weak. Yeah. That's fair. Uh... They've, 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 they've done a lot of, um... A lot of rebalancing since then, so... Like, Barbarian kind of lacked a bit, but now it's in a good place, I think. I've just never been the nature-y class in any yeah. Wait, Rogue is broken current? Like, bad broken? In what way? Specifics. Is it a particular build, or is it, like, a fundamental thing? Because if it's just a build or a particular skill, you can avoid it. Enough to work too hard. Right, but that doesn't mean it's horrible. When I played Rogue, it felt good for what it's worth. I, I enjoyed fun. my time with it. It was fun, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So for, for what it's worth, but I guess that's that's a pretty subjective thing, it's just because it's not as strong as it used to be. I don't know. I don't think it's unplayable. What was unplayable was the Necromancer and the Minions. That, that was, uh, yeah, like, 
you should just not go minions, but that, they fixed that, thankfully. <laughs> not the nature type touch grass, yeah. Well. I think the problem I have with Druid is kind of, it feels like a jack of all trades, master of none type scenario. Like, it's not fully melee, it's not fully magic, it's just somewhere in the middle. And I guess the experience I had with Druid was in D2, and it just kind of... It felt like, okay, if I want to do magic, the sorceress is just better at it, and if I want to do melee, any of the other characters are better at it. So... I don't know. That's just my taste, though. I haven't tried the Druid. I will at some point. Yeah, I mean, if, it's, if you like it, try it, man. Like, I think they've done every class well. Okay. It's kind of nice with that boss specifically, my bone wall blocks his projectiles. Yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take it, man. Yeah, I know. You're a big, beefy muscle mommy. You got this. Yeah. I'm just a frail, half dead looking ass. Okay, uh, I'm looking at my list. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a Thorns one. That's the one skill that I'm afraid to try, just because Thorns have never been good in any Diablo game. But I guess, like, doing the dungeons for the sake of completion. How many do we have left? We have ten left. In this area, so that's not too bad. Making some good progress. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, the aspects is just... When I do choose to play some of these classes, it'll make it easier to play through. Gonna jump? No worries, Pyro. Yeah, thanks for popping in. I forge more than horseshoes and nails. Uh... What do you need? But it's something about Necro and the skills that's always appealed. So yeah, I think a lot of it just comes down to what you enjoy playing. <coughs> Alright. There we go. Massive bear. Wait, where is it leading me? Oh, I see. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't realize how light it was. Having that clock in the top right corner makes me feel like a bit of a degenerate. Uh, this game can put me into full degen mode for sure. <laughs> I've been avoiding it for the most part. What, going full degen mode? Yeah, well. Yeah, that's probably for the best. When you have a 9 to 5, yeah, you can't go full degen. Oh. I'll be up in the morning, but a uh, long weekend. Gotta do my, uh, my necromancer quest real quick. Wait, did I mark? Yeah, I gotta mark this one off. There we go. Oh, the proficiency, right, yeah. Yeah, there's uh It's cool. I got to the dungeon I'll just wait. I'll look at my paragon board.
willpower. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. Can't go for beans when you got a nine for five, pretty much. Bishop Felway and her knights. Someone must remember us. We were ousted from Priestley. We are the empty so far. Took hostages and retreated to a cave in the hills. But it's all gone wrong. The prisoners spoke their heathen tongue and invoked the savage spirits of the wood. It was chaos. They were swarmed. Everyone, the Glen folk too. They died first, tied down. The knights, soon after. I'm ashamed to say I hid. Tell our story. Let it be known we died in sacrifice to the light. charges in here.
Lucas shrine. I'm glad I've seen it to help Well, that was actually kind of a fight. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm still doing my necromancer quest. Oh, right, yeah. It's not that long though, thankfully. For some reason the barbarian one's just, it goes on for a while. I mean, I'm not close to doing this though. Yeah, yeah.
actually want to be in there. Yeah, again, there's just stuff T-posing here. <laughs> it's bizarre. Yeah. I wonder if you get bonus XP if you succeed in the mastery. drop shit if anything important shows up. I haven't found the pedestal. I'm not ready. <laughs> Can't move. 
keeps stunning it. Please tell me this is nearby. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> I couldn't attack. It was just standing there. Got cornered. None of us could attack. That was funny. Bone wall ability is definitely growing on me. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, for the vulnerability thing, it's decent. And I'd imagine the more ranks you put into it, the stronger it gets. Oh yeah, there's lots of, like, I'm discovering new uses for it every so often. What the fuck oh, is man. this thing? It's further down. It's probably, uh... Yeah. Oh, man. What we'll killed you? Jeez. It's got mobs by a bunch of oh. fat dude. Damn. Yeah, okay. There's multiple. That brought me away. <laughs> Extra health. Why is it in this game again? That's so funny, your your thing is here, but then your death indicator is is over here. Like you got yeeted that far. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like a block of cheese. Now I want cheese. Let's have a cheese wheel on my back. You know, like a brie or something. I went the wrong way again. <laughs> okay, when I zoom in on it, there's markings, but still. Oh, 
Uh, it is useful. If two ranged characters were playing right now, it would be such an invaluable skill to block that shit. Aspect. Okay. Kind of surprised I haven't seen any legendary drops yet. I feel like Just we've done a, a fair amount of dungeons. I mean, you can craft your own, so it's not too bad. Yeah, but. I know. Getting a drop is so much more satisfying. I want to hear that sweet ping noise. Yeah. Just hits me right in the, right in the sweet spot. Some of these abilities I'm not even sure if there's steel or grass. Ah, right, the chain thing. Okay. Just the node. Okay, I think I'm down to do one more before I should really sleep. Sounds good. Uh, let's see what's left. Most of them, yeah, most of them have been ticked off. Okay, uh, that one is Druid, Rogue, Druid, Rogue, Druid. <laughs> Okay, there's a Bob Whirlwind one, Rogue. And then there's that weird one for standing still that increases your damage. Like, I'm not sure how that would even get used. Um, I guess I'll do the Barbarian one. So Whirlwind, okay, it's this one. that one. Okay. I swear, the freaking necromancers have like the coolest looking armor sets. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them, they look pretty decent. Ooh. 
Ooh, this dungeon might be interesting. Ah, okay. It's loading. Now we're ready? Yeah, there we go. They better release some dope pigments from the battle pass, man. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's probably going to be a thing. But, I mean, I don't mind what's in there so far. Like, no, I think my character looks ones. pretty good, and that's without like purchasing anything. Yeah, we'll hand that to them that, like, despite having a cash shop for cosmetics, they did give us lots of stuff that looks great. Yeah, exactly. Like, I haven't felt the need to buy any. No, neither. To make it at any point yet. Stop being concerned when that bone wall appears now. <laughs> ah! Oh my. Come on, Gabe Devs, aren't we tired of the suicide enemies yet? <laughs> Did you ever play Serious Sam? Yeah. Best. Suicide enemies in any game. So you'd play that shit for an extended amount of time and then you'd stop playing and you'd still hear the screaming. Yeah. Timed. Yeah, it's fine. It's no biggie. I'm just trying to focus on the elite a bit more. Well, I got a legendary. Nice. Good. Hey, ah! Wait, does this stack? Oh. Don't, oh but, but. Fuck. That is such a bad legendary. Okay, Aww. so the affix is for Hammer of the Ancients, right? Which right. is the skill that I use. Fantastic. However, the, this is the attributes. Are you ready? Mm. Plus 24 to strength. Plus 2 to rend. Plus 1 to upheaval. Plus 2 to double swing. End stats. What the None, hell? Not a single skill that I use. Buffing all these skills, not a single one I use. Damn, what an unfortunate roll. Yeah, it's just garbage. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Let just me... paying some penance there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
my current I guess the other thing is my current gloves I don't know, what do they do they still do more yeah I got excited when I saw the effects and then I read the stats and it was sad. It's extra unfortunate because even if you were to re-roll, you can well, only Well, that's it, one right? One like, you can only re-roll one stat. Yeah. Highly unfortunate. It's interesting that I can do that, though, to get gear that would give multiple plus ones and twos. Like, imagine you got all skills that you use. That would be a pretty godly drop. Yeah. Well, I guess the nice thing, too, is you can just extract that aspect. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I really wasn't expecting Bone to be my favorite path here, but... It does look pretty Ow. cool so far. I like it. I'm into it. I think it's, it definitely suits what we're doing. Just this particular combination. I love how they're trying to get me, and I'm just hammering them through the wall. There's probably stuff we missed still. Kind of curious now to see what the meta meta necromancer builds are. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've seen blood quite a bit. I've also seen bone. Can't say I've seen many summons just because of what happened in the um, server slam thing. I just got another legendary. What the hell, man? Yeah, I mean, my luck is pretty chaotic, like, sure, uh, legendaries are dropping for me, but look at the quality of them. Yeah. It's an axe as well, so I'm not going to lose it. Focusing this one so I can stop summoning. Interesting that necromancers can't use stabs. Yeah, they go source and um, wand or sword, I think. Yeah. Crap. There is overlap with sorceress, but not completely. Oh, something I'm hype about that I wanted to mention to you, freaking Hades too. Am I right? Yeah. That Did game... you freaking see that trailer? I haven't. Um, what is it? A new one or is it? 
the one. No, nah, um, just the release trailer they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I was freaking out, man. It's a great game, that one. It's probably the most voice acting I've seen in the game. It's like the most, it's definitely the most like consistently good voice acting I've seen in that type of game. Yeah, but just the sheer variety of interactions. I can't say I yeah. ever heard a line twice. No, the variety and the quality is just yeah. man. I was losing my mind when I saw that. It's kind of hard for me to get excited about a game these days. Like, truly excited. Yeah. It's always followed by such... doubt. Well, in the AAA space, yeah. But... That's why we love us our indie games. Yep. I mean, I would say Tears of the Kingdom was probably the last major announced game that I was just... I was happy. And then when they showed off the fact that, oh, there was dungeons in there, man. I was excited for Metroid Prime as well, because I had never played that. I was like, oh, oh, this looks really good. That was a really good remaster. Man, I haven't played a Metroid since Metroid 64. Yeah, well, that's a lie. I played the one that was on GameCube. Yeah, that's Prime. Yeah. I haven't played one since that. Yeah. That's, I, was, I was just waiting for us. Like, Metroid 64 n never happened. Yeah. I mean, 3D and 2D are different, but just Metroid fans have been eating good lately. For sure. Let's hope they do the same for Star Fox. The fact that we have more Metroid games than, say, like 3D Mario is kind of wild, but I'm, I'm excluding the 3D collection. Because those are just, they're lazy. Yeah. Well, it's like Odyssey Quick 30 little cash grabs on their part. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it was hysterical with um, some of the anti-piracy emulation issues that would pop up were in their version as well. So. It was not a great collection by any means, and just the fact that they uh, put like an artificial FOMO on it. It's pretty scummy. Yeah. You can still find the, that game in stores, man. <laughs> Several years later. I mean, sure, it's gone digitally, which okay, defeating the purpose of digital, but sure. It's still available. Would you say there's any one developer that still has your utmost faith? I'll still trust Nintendo releases, because even a bad Nintendo release is still average. That's fair. Um, and same with, I guess anything made by the studio Sony owns, it's like, I, I, I can't say I've ever seen something that's been beyond bad from their side. Like, yeah, God of War, God of War and um, all that stuff has been good. Yeah. The ones that I, I just would not trust no matter what now, currently, Bethesda, um, to yep. some extent, Blizzard, but I guess with this one, I got to see 
early on that this was headed in a good direction, so faith. Uh, oh, it's the butcher! Oh god! Okay, let's let's just see if I can stand up to it. It looks like I can. Yeah, see, normally, have this. If, if I'm single player, I can't do I can't do what I'm doing here. Ooh. Dude, oh, we are, yeah, demolish on, honestly, if you're, if you're playing hardcore, how, how are you supposed to deal with this? Ah! I'm going after you now. Just, just run, just run. I'll, I'll try and... Aha! Good job, Aww. good job. Did, did he break through it? He just fucking uh, immediately destroyed it. Wow. Okay, just, just... Oh, no, we got a pillar here. This is good. This is good. Kite, 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 kite. Yeah, kite. the pillar, the pillar is our friend. Uh, oh, I thought he was stuck for a sec. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I have to cut, I have to cut, I have to cut, I have to cut. Okay. Just keep damaging, I'll... I'm almost out of potions. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I have to hold on a little longer. Okay, so Ow, you. Ah, oh god! Stun lock okay. me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm probably gonna die the next round because I don't have any, any potions left, so just be prepared for that inevitability. Okay, I got two potions, it should be fine. I can tank. Just. I'll try and get in his way. Okay, but he's on me now. Okay, they clearly had the bone wall in mind when they designed him because he just immediately, he just immediately battle cries it away. Yep, yep. But there's, there's no way I'd be able to take this castle on on my own. No, not a chance. Looking at looking at this, like. Okay, he's chasing me. I'm probably gonna die here, so get ready to run. I'm on my last legs. Sorry oh, now. Oh, okay, okay, run, run, run. I got his, I got him stunned, I got him stunned. He's probably gonna change targets. I have no potions left, so just be prepared. I will resurrect the checkpoint and try to make my way here. You <laughs> stuck? Yes! Yes! Fuck you, game! Okay, now he's going for me. Now he's going for me. Okay. I'm probably gonna die, so just be prepared for that. The burn wall does delay. Oh. Ah, I okay, I'm dead. Alright, get ready, get ready, oh, run. Try try and survive, try and survive. I'm raising a checkpoint. Where, where are you? Oh, you're all the way over there. Fuck. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. Ah. I'm gonna die. Ah! Did you die? No. Not yet. I'm okay. definitely I'm about trying to, to get there. I'm trying 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 to get there. Oh my oh I died. <laughs> did he did he leave? Did he leave? Uh I might, might yep, have been too far gone. away. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Shit. Fucking dickhead. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Corpse just laying in the fire. We got him halfway though, honestly pretty good. Yeah. But, you know, beyond tanking, what the fuck am I supposed to do against that on my own? It, this is yeah, one of those I things think... that... It's just too heavy. I think you really are just meant to run away from him early yeah. on. Yeah. But it's good to know that we can probably do it. Like, unless you just have, like, unless you just are, already have just a fucking meta endgame build somehow, there's just no mm. way. But it's good, it's showing my tankiness progression, because I could not stand up to him like I did then.
being able to just smack him for a good minute or so without really going to low health. Yeah. No, yeah, I was pretty impressed by that. I was like, damn. No, they, they have definitely done the Barbarian very well in this game. But yeah, uh, I will not play hardcore because <laughs> fuck that. That's just... You would have to play as a group. There's just no way you can do it solo, I don't think. Unless you're a top, top tier player. Yeah, I mean, well, maybe it's just I have some kind of... I just like suffering for some reason. Hmm. I know that what feeling. I do like about hardcore is just like every interaction feels meaningful. Yeah, I know what you mean. And uh, like it's it's partially the same reason I like Roblox. You know, it's like you really have yeah motivation not to die. Yeah, hey, man. which I like, I but. Yeah, when there's bullshit like that running around, it's kind of like... Kills a like, little bit, for sure. I feel like we've gone through worse, to be honest. Like, some of the shit in Risk of Rain, for example. Man. Yeah. Just straight up unfair. Probably more than that. Or Splunky 2. Oh my god, to get... To finish Splunky 2, man. I still haven't had that joyful experience or so. Dude. Just so many times my soul would leave my body. <laughs> because it's that game, I think it's, it's the most brutal game I've ever played. Just because it doesn't matter how well you're doing. Like, I could have a run where I have 99 health and everything has gone perfectly fine. And then some bullshit chain reaction that I did not start. Something will happen and then bam, I'm dead. It's just from... Full, full health, like, just the strongest you can be to just dead. And you can't see it coming sometimes, it's just... The dude that made that game is an, evil is an evil genius, dude. Yeah. It made for great watching, though. Dire well wind. Not many left. Eight? Yeah, eight left. Let me just make sure that I got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Where's number eight? I may be tired and I can't see number eight. <laughs> I trust it somewhere. Oh, there. Eight. Got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm going to salvage and wrap up. Oh, damn. Am I going to be streaming tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be miserable, but I need to go shopping and stuff. And then afterwards, we'll see. Ooh. That's a good aspect to get. The axe that I thought was going to be useless actually gave me a good aspect. 
Nice. Yeah. Get pancake mix. All right, I'll try and remember. Nah, man. Just wants to have like a pancake party, for lack of a better term. Just eating pancake pancakes. Party. Eating pancakes. I don't know what I'm gonna do when that happens. Like, what am I gonna What am I gonna be doing with pancakes? And the thing is, the time of it, I'd have to be eating it at, uh, after midnight. What am I gonna do with pancakes after midnight? I mean. Eat them. Uh, I, I know eat them, but what am I gonna <laughs> be doing on stream? Thank you. I was gonna wear them on my head as a hat. <laughs> and just pour the syrup all over. I feel like it was pretty, uh, self-explanatory. <laughs> Not a whole lot of you for pancakes. I was, I was referring to what am I gonna do with the content, but... I'll just get a bu I'll just get a bunch of pancake mix, make the pancakes, and be like, "All right, cool. That was the pancake party." I had a party I with some pancakes, man. Like super literal. Just I'll put him on a chair. I'll give him a little hat, and then we'll have a party with the pancakes. Uh, just pancake guests. Pancake, yeah, that's what a pancake party is. Is you have a party with some pancakes. You're not eating them. No, of course not. Got to get some whipped cream. I'll see. Not sure. Why pancakes, though? I mean, how about... I, know, I feel like well, waffles are superior. It, it would have to be... Way. Buttermilk, for sure. Um, to be honest, I'd probably get some Nutella, but I'll see if I can find like a little jar of it. I like my Nutella pancakes. Oh. I like blueberry pancakes. Blueberry is good too. It's just more effort. Uh, is it though? But, I don't know. <laughs> you just want Maybe. blueberries in it. <laughs> well, that's a I feel like putting the tail in it is more effort even. <laughs> well, it depends what you do. Like if you put them into the batter, in the mix. Like, they talk about putting them on top and then having syrup. Because putting them on top and having syrup, that's not effort. <laughs> 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 Either way, you just kind of either put them on top after they're already pancakes, or you just throw it in the but mix. But I feel like know? there's more room for error if you put them in the batter, no? I was, what kind of error are we talking about here? I don't know, I just feel like they might be fucked up somehow. Like, I might cook them wrong. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I just have this aversion. <laughs> Banana is fine. Banana is fine. Banana is easy. You just mash it and you can't tell it's in there. But blueberry, it's like the color is different. And so when you're cooking yeah, it, I don't <laughs> know. I felt so. This, this, this might be like a completely irrational, like it's four in the morning brain, like just <laughs> like I really, overthinking this. I have made blueberry pancakes many times and I promise you it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that banana and Nutella and all this other shit is fine, but blueberries is a hard no no. The th well, my train of thought was just the color. It's just because when you're cooking what? them, you don't you don't want to overdo them. So I just thought a uh, blueberry will make the batter darker, so it'll be harder <laughs> to, to burn take them the, off. Burn the blueberries? Is that what the theory Not is? Not burn here? the blueberries. Burn the the actual pancake, man. That's a risk no matter what you put in But <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is, like, the blueberry batter is a different color. It'd be darker than a batter that had pancake in it or nothing. That's what I'm trying to know. say. Yeah, but if it just has, like, a couple of blue spots, it's not going to, like... Well, it's not like the whole pancake's going to be blue from a If I'm of doing blueberry pancakes, it's going to have more than three fucking blueberries. Let's be clear with that. In each pancake? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fair. It's, it's wanna, still like, like it's a, not it's a enough blueberry blue pancake. To like, it, so the like point where you can't tell if it's like burning or not. <laughs> that was the irrational fear that popped up as exhaustion. Oh, God. That's good. How many pancakes am I making? Probably three. So we're talking about the irrational fear of three pancakes being burnt. I mean, I'm just uh, buying- I'm buying batter to make three fucking pancakes. 
<laughs> at one in the morning. Ugh. Better that I'll probably not use again, because I just don't eat pancakes ever. Ugh. I really... Oh, man. This was supposed One to be the part. One big pancake, that's the real... That's the real risky shit right there. <laughs> you only get one fucking chance. But it... <laughs> <laughs> that's... I mean, I, you would roll it up at that point. Like, I would make a big pancake, roll it up. Like, you spread Nutella on it, and then you roll it up. Be like a pancake like a... sort. Like, almost like a crepe, but not really. This is like a real super thick crepe. Yeah. Yeah. This was supposed uh, to be the I'm part where I'm talking about YouTube and saying thanks for watching, but this has just been derailed. <laughs> this is the, blue the blueberry pancake outro. <laughs> it's good. It's most likely going to end on the, the end of year video, just the, the the time where Will was so tired and was worried to cook fucking pancakes. <laughs> the rational fear of putting blueberries into pancakes. Just blueberries. The rest of them are fine because the color I can tell when they're ready. Easy. Ugh. I can't be the only one that has that fear. Anyway. <laughs> that's, no, no, that's... I'm glad. I'm glad we could clear that up. I'll try and remember the, the pancake thing, but, like, honestly, I don't want to be doing it on my own, so if, like, no one... <laughs> it has to be at least more than one person, because otherwise it's just two people making pancakes at that point, or one person making pancakes. Nothing wrong with that, dude. But it's not a party at I that point. I don't feel like pa making pancakes is usually a multi-person operation. No, but like it isn't, but it's, 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 it's the... It's the concept of it being a party. That's the problem. Right. I mean... Because otherwise, it's, it's just you just picture a kid just sitting at a table on his own with a birthday hat and no one's there. Like, that's what it becomes. Well, that would be a birthday party. Yeah, but it's the same thing. It's a party and no one's there. It's like, I made a pancake, I have my plate of pancakes, and I'm just sitting there in a room with just pancakes at one in the morning. But if we're just calling it a pancake party, then, it, like, all you really need is the pancakes, right? As long as you've got the pancakes, it's still a pancake party. But it isn't the concept of a party, it's like a gathering of people, by definition, isn't it? Like... I... probably. Okay. I, I can't believe this, but it's... I just got a dictionary definition of party. This is where I'm at right now. Um, a social gathering of invited guests involving eating, drinking, and entertainment. Right? So, right. It's by definition, it's a gathering of invited guests. There's no such thing as a gathering with one person. <laughs> so it's not a party. Yes, that's fair. And it's plural. So at guests the end of the day, if no one comes to your pancake party, you're just a dude eating pancakes. It, yeah, I'm just a dude eating pancakes. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, though, is what I'm saying. No, I know, but, like, it's just the idea that I was supposed to... It's like, yeah, hey, you should do the pancake party. It's just me in a room on my own eating pancakes. What day is this supposed to happen? Now I, I feel the need to get in the on this pancake party. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow? Assu assuming I remember. I'm still sick. Oh, I can... To I can 100%. <laughs> DoorDash some pancake mix to myself. <laughs> gonna DoorDash. But, I mean, it would be... Psh, like, it would have to be at least midnight my time, which is like four hours ago, so I don't know. Because if, if, if I'm not... There's no way I'm getting up at six in the morning to make pancakes just so time zones align for people on stream. That's not <laughs> happening. So I'm stuck with, like, I have to make pancakes at midnight. Oh god. <laughs> we have pancake mix here, but it's like these protein pancakes that my roommate gets, and it's not. They're not it. It would not suffice. I'll I'll mention it on Discord and see how much attention the message gets. If it gets no attention, I'm abandoning ship on the bank. 
<laughs> how many? Okay, how many people do we need to be on the pancake ship for it to sail? The the definite the definition of party is like it says guests up, so it implies that more than one guest arrive. So at least so at, at least, least two other at people, at least three people, including me. That's, Colred, and, we got this. That's a that's that's we got classified this, as that's classified as a party. If literally just me, so you're saying if literally just me and Colvin show up with pancake mix, we're good. We're set. We're good that, to go. That's on a the party. But then the other thing is, I need to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, no, because it's if I'm doing this live, what am I gonna do with pancakes? I can't play anything with a plate of pancakes in front of me. <laughs> like, I have to get up and make them and then sit down with them. It can be like the uh, it can be like the Pokemon uh, pack opening thing. It's, it's I cameras can't, I, I can't on do games. I can't do cameras. The lighting is bad and just it just doesn't work, man. So you, you just have to trust that I've made them. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a photo of them, sure, but like beyond that, um, I mean, we could literally just sit in Discord eating pancakes together. It's not like. Yeah, I suppose if you're doing it, that makes it easier, because you can just talk and... Oh, you pancakes. I just gotta think about if I have anything that's that just involves minimal input. Like, it's a hat, like, just mouse click or something. Mm. Just, say what, just, say, just say what I have to think about. Like, I, I, I am just incapable of just doing something and saying that I'm gonna do it. Like, I need to know how it's gonna work. And I have to be happy with it. You need <laughs> pancake logistics first. <sighs> Alright, I'll I'll think about it. But I'll post something and then just see what people say. Sounds I was good. gonna play yeah. Donkey Kong potentially tomorrow, but I don't know. See that that's not pancake material. It's not. Like, how am I gonna eat pancakes and have a Super Nintendo controller in my hand? Is that like... Like, every time you die, you have to make another pancake or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> One, I've never played Donkey Kong Country 2, and two, I, I... That reputation, the reputation of that game precedes it. I know what I'm That's in for. That's what I'm saying. I know what that game is like. Yeah. So I'd be perfect. Just have a yeah. fat sack of pancakes eventually. I'm going to think about it. Otherwise, it'll be a thing where I'll be like, okay, post stream, I'll do a Discord hangout thing and then I can watch something. That's that's like the fallback. If I can't think of anything to do live that I'm happy with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because Discord stream is a little more laid back and I don't have to worry about VODs or anything like that. It's just whatever. For sure, for sure. I'll think about it. I need to sleep on it. Let me sleep. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, dude. Uh, yeah. Thanks for, for playing, man. Pleasure as always. Oh, absolutely. You have a, you have a good night. Yeah. No worries, man. Later. Later. And now I can do the proper outro after, like, what I was going to do ten minutes ago. Hey, hi YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, if you're watching later. Uh, buttons for the algorithm, something along those lines, I can't remember what I usually say, but... Uh, yeah, thanks for those that have done that so far, and hope you have been enjoying this playthrough so far.